Hello, are you a principal, school administrator, or educator that may be struggling with the topic of meeting parents' expectations? Today, I'm in Goulburn, New South Wales, home of the Big Merino, and yesterday I delivered a fish PD for a local school. So we had so much fun. I absolutely love my job. It gives me the privilege to work with educators that are passionate about forming young minds and setting kids up for success. I have such respect and admiration for the hard work that teachers do day after day and the hours that they put in long after the kids have gone home. Now during our fish sessions, we always uncover issues and I call them stinky fish issues. Then we playstorm ideas and discover fresh solutions using the fish philosophy. Yesterday's issues were not uncommon. In fact, one of them is something that comes up in all of our fish sessions with educators and it's meeting parents' expectations. In this short video, I will share with you four tips to help with meeting parents' expectations. Here we go. Tip number one, be confident. You got this. Remember, you are the expert. You're an educator and you've studied and prepared for this role. This is your 100% focus. And yes, parents are obviously passionate about what is best for their child and obviously you want that too. If you have a solid plan and communicate this with your student's parents, they will feel more informed and have more faith in your essential role as a teacher for their precious child. Communication is key. Tip number two, involve them. Part of the fish school journey, um, we invite the parents to see a short uh, fish for parents session and during this meeting we share with them the fish for students film and we invite the parents um, along that journey and inform them that how we're using the philosophy to underpin the curriculum and to create life skills that will stay with their kids throughout their personal and their work life. We use activities at home and give them little assignments that uh, they can ask the parents to get involved in. And the kids actually end up doing the training with the parents um, about the four practices, which is magic. Tip number three, stop the stories in your head. When dealing with students' parents, it's important that you're being in the moment one-on-one -on -one and really connect and you can do this by stopping the stories in your head and what I mean is that you don't pass judgment on their parenting styles or approach in advance and have like an open and sincere conversation with them don't live in the past if you've been having issues connecting with a particular parent you can start fresh by clearing your mind of stories and ask the right questions learn more about them and their child. Find common ground and focus on connecting with that parent one-on-one. -on -one. That will change your entire relationship and they may end up being your biggest fan. Amazing things happen when you give people the benefit of the doubt instead of thinking of the worst. Tip number four, positive thoughts. Your words create your world. Instead of thinking negative thoughts before a conversation with a parent, remind yourself of your strengths and say positive words to yourself like, I'm fabulous, I'm a terrific teacher, I can do this. Maybe have a personal theme song. I personally love Megan Trainer and play her songs all the time while I'm setting up for a session. Definitely the one, Me Too, is my favorite. I hope you found these tips valuable. And if you're interested in learning more about how you or your school or early learning education center can start practicing the FISH philosophy to improve relationships with kids and parents, click the link below. Happy fishing!